Help me get one more. I think my catchphrase for these ones are buckle up. So buckle up and let's watch this thing. Okay guys, real quick. I was recently traveling abroad and I was like, how am I gonna continue creating content? So I reached out to Surfshark VPN and they are the sponsors of this video. I've never used a VPN before and this has totally changed my life. Surfshark VPN is a browser extension that allows you to virtually place your phone or your computer anywhere in the world. You can access unblocked content as if you were in that country. Because where I'm from, I don't always get access to the same content you do. So for watching movies, I don't get the same things on Netflix. So now it makes it that much easier for us to watch movies together. It can also place you back in your own country. So when I was away, it was like my workflow never stopped and it was like I was still at home. And Surfshark is the only VPN that allows you to use one account across multiple devices. I've been totally loving it. So if you guys want to learn more, you can head over to surfshark.com or you can hit the link in the description box below. You guys can go ahead and use my code AIMS for an extra three months free. They offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So you guys can head over and try it out for yourself with no risk and you can surf the web safely. Let's get back to the video. Roll tape. Godspeed. Hacksaw Ridge. A true story. Oh my God, those bodies are just on fire. Oh my God, war is just so horrible. Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, creator of the ends of the earth. That flamethrower. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Hang on, Desmond. We're gonna get you out of here. Got the ending of the movie at the beginning. Blue Ridge Mountains, Virginia, 16 years earlier. Desmond, what? Wait up. Catch up. Catch up? What, how? Where is she to be talk? Hey, cheater! What a cheater. Oh my god, please tell me nothing's gonna happen to one of these little boys. Save your home! <gasps> Don't quit it! You quit it! <laughs> so beautiful. It's them dolls, kids. Crazy as their old man. Oh, Mr. Anderson. You boys wouldn't recognize it now. He's pouring one out for him. It's like I died with you. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Just let him fight it out. Block him with your right, Desmond. Stop it. Do you hear me? Oh, there's their mother. Why stop him? Save me whipping them both. This way I just whip the one that wins. <laughs> oh, my God. He's strangling him. Tom. <gasps> What the hell are you doing? You can't hear me. Uh, oh my god. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Well. Oh my god, he'd be so traumatized. Our father, who art in heaven, he always praying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat you now, you know the rules. Thou shalt not kill. What's that gonna teach the boy? He's violent enough already. You tell him the world's a soft and gentle place. Al's gonna be okay. I could have killed him. Yes, you could have. Murder, it's the worst sin of all. If that is the most egregious sin in the world, side. It's horrible listening to parents fight, isn't it? He's a drunk. Why does he hate us so much? Oh, he don't hate us. He hates himself. He hates himself. Exactly. I wish you knew him like I did before the war. Oh, okay. It's so sad what people go through and he went to war, so yeah. <laughs> How'd we sound, Desmond? Like a heavenly host of angels, Mom. Now you know it's a sin to tell a lie, especially in this place. What's going on out there, Desmond? Oh, get it out, get it out. Oh, shit. Just talk. Oh. <laughs> I'll phone an ambulance. Oh, no time. Oh, tourniquet? Stop the bleeding? Did you apply this tourniquet? Yes, sir. Nice work. You might have saved this boy's life. Oh, it's falling for her. She's like an angel. <laughs> Army physicals that way. This is forgiven blood. 
Oh no, that's not mine. I'm just here to take blood. I'll give you mine. I go to that room over there and wait with the others. I'll call you. I honestly will faint. I can't. It's like the one thing I can't look at. I always dreamed about being a doctor, but uh, didn't get much school. Might be a little dizzy when we're done. Yeah, tell me about it. Can't even look at needles. Man, I'm walking back. Fort Hill, ma'am. That's a ways. Oh. Just five or six miles. Where are you going looking all spruced and nice? Met someone yesterday. Nurse over at the hospital, her name's Dorothy Shooty. I'm gonna marry her. <laughs> you ever even spoken to a woman? I mean, one that's not family. Spoke to her. Come give your brother a big hug. <gasps> no, no, no. Don't get the oil grease on him. Good luck, mama. <laughs> Good luck. I always talk about people's hair and stuff, but like Andrew Garfield has some nice hair and like the most perfect haircuts for his hair type. I'm just telling you, whoever does his hair is so good. Oh, because he saw the bird book, so he's going to give her a feather. It's so cute. <laughs> <gasps> he can talk to the birds. You ever given blood before? Yes, ma'am, I have. He's going to give blood every day. <laughs> Well, Desmond, we can't take your blood two days in a row. That's good. I came to get mine back. Well, it don't work like that. We can't just give it back to you. Ever since you stubbed me with that needle, my heart's been beating real fast. Every time I think about you, it beats faster still. Oh, what a romantic guy. <laughs> it's pretty corny. Well, that's a shame. I, I don't practice that all night. Oh, he's standing up all tall and proper and proud. What's the difference between an artery and a vein? Artery spur blood. And veins? Bleed. I think you need to practice your boy girl date and talk at home before you come out. I yeah, probably do. I'll give you a book if you're that interested. On dating? <laughs> <laughs> On blood. Oh my god, I honestly can't talk about veins. No, I just think you're the prettiest thing I ever seen. That's because I'm sitting in the dark. Oh. <laughs> you need to watch where you're going. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't think you'd mind. You didn't ask. I think she liked it. <laughs> you coming? <laughs> Jesus. Has his dad stopped drinking? He enlisted and his dad ain't happy. Why didn't you say nothing to us? Because he would have tried and talked me out of it and I know what I'm doing is right. What about his commandment? It's not killing in a war. Working in a paper mill ain't gonna save this country. It looks like a movie star. Reminds me of how Artie Giddens looked in his uniform when we went to France. I'm just saying how snappy Artie looked in his uniform. All you girls certainly seem to think so. I just hope that when our Hal gets shot, it's through the front of his jacket. Like a simple entry wound, not much mess. Artie got hit in the back. It blew most of his guts and intestines out his front, awful everywhere. Wrecked his uniform entirely. Mm. Get out of my sight. Gotta be so hard to go to war and then see your kids enlist. Oh, he's taking her to this special spot. So beautiful. Are you just gonna leave me stranded? You can do it, girl. But it's gonna cost you a kiss. You ain't gonna slap me, are you? Cause I'll fall off. I'm gonna take you with me. Kiss me and find out. Oh, such a beautiful spot to have a kiss. Oh, he's reading the book. I have to enlist. I can't stay here while all them go fight for me. I won't be a medic. I figure I'll be saving people, not killing them. Oh, God. So are you going to ask me to marry you or what? With all my heart and then some, you marry me? Then yes, but I still don't like you at this moment. <laughs> well, I love you. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Are these all of his buddies that he's talking to that he lost in the war? Got into trouble with him, chased girls with him, and enlisted with him. He's the only one who came back. I don't want to have to visit my sons here. Daddy, I, I signed up already. I couldn't do otherwise. But you won't be able to live with yourself if you go. No, I won't be able to live with myself if I don't. I'm going to be a medic. Well, I know. I don't doubt it's going to be hard. It won't be hard. It'll be impossible. And if by some, I don't know, miracle chance you survive, you won't be giving no thanks to God. Come on, fellas, shake a leg. Uncle Sam's got you. Now say goodbye to Mama. Here. I want you to have this. Aw. I love you. God, saying bye to them would have been so hard. Oh, she left a picture. Come home to me, Desmond Doss. I love you. Fort Jackson. You okay there? Look lost. 
Randall Fuller. Desmond Doss. The testicles there belong to a man calling himself Hollywood. <laughs> oh, hey. Bruce Nolan, out of Red Hook. Where you from? Virginia. Oh, hillbilly, huh? You marry your first cousin? <gasps> That's Smitty over there whipping Kaczynski's ass. Paul oh, Kaczynski, nice to meet you. That's Tex Lewis over there and uh, Vito Vernelli. Sansom guy right here is uh, Lucky Ford. That's Walker and Pinnock over there. Old uh, good book, right? I think Lucky's got a good book, right, Lucky? Attention! Oh, line up! Oh, my God. <laughs> He's naked. <laughs> oh. You are a very strange looking individual, if you don't mind me saying so, Private. How long have you been dead, son? <laughs> I am Sergeant Howell or Sarge. The name is Ghoul, you say? Walker. <sighs> Ghoul it is. He's so funny. There's something off in your presentation, Private. I have a knife in my foot, Sergeant. <laughs> your name is Private Idiot. Do you know why? Because <laughs> I have a knife in my foot. I did, Sergeant. Private Krasinski. You look part Indian. Let me see your Indian war cry, son! I, I don't... Ah! Ah! Let me see it! <laughs> Animal spirit. Are you a garter snake? No, Sergeant! Are you a chipmunk? No, Sergeant! Then I shall henceforth call you chief as a sign of great respect to your people. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant! Are you grinning at me, boy, or is that your natural state? No, Sergeant. I have seen stocks of corn with better physique. <laughs> Makes me want to pull an ear off, Private. Make sure you keep this man away from strong winds. <laughs> Everyone outside, now! Any man who takes such pride in his natural naked state will surely enjoy the brisk of the outdoors. Now move your private, private party. <laughs> move it! You son of an exhibition! <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to tie a bowline knot. But you can get your sorry asses down from a height. Rabbit comes out of his hole, runs around the tree. Have you ever looked into a goat's eyes? No, sir. Good, that would be unnatural. <laughs> you know if you don't breathe, you'll die. <laughs> if you're American, you'd be taller. One for each titty. You were tying a bowline, boy. Not building a bra. Come on, ladies, pick it up, move it! Come on, ladies. <laughs> Run like you need it, down, down, down. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this guy's still naked? <laughs> Come on, Desmond. Ah, <laughs> oh, cheapo. Go, go, go. Yeah. He's pretty fit. Fit as a fiddle. This is a personal gift from the United States government to each and every one of you. This is to be your lover, your mistress, your concubine. Don't point your gun forward. I do not want to be shot today. <laughs> Place the weapon by your side. Oh, he's not taking a gun. Problem, Private Cornstalk. I was told I don't have to carry a weapon. I can't touch a gun. I was just never supposed to be sent to a rifle company. He's a CO, sir. Is the Avatar guy? You're a conscientious objector. Mm. I'm a conscientious cooperator. Carrying a gun and taking a human life. She don't kill. That's all. Yes, sir, that's all. Is there anything else that we can do to ensure that you have a comfortable stay here with us? He doesn't want to work on Saturday, sir. Well, Saturday is my Sabbath, so. We should simply ask the enemy not to invade on the Sabbath because Private Doss hears a prayer. As long as you're in this company, under my command, you will obey my orders, period. If you can't do it here, I can't trust you to do it in battle. I'm putting you in for a Section 8 psychiatric discharge. Private Doss does not believe in violence. Do not look to him to save you on the battlefield. Because he will undoubtedly be too busy wrestling with his conscience to assist. Sarge, that's not true, Private, Sarge. As you were. It is what we men fight for. Even if Private Doss's beliefs might cause women and children to die. I didn't know this was a thing. Like, how many people were conscientious objectors? Or, or is he, like, the one of the only ones? Because he obviously wants to go and save people as a medic. It's half the Bible for half the man. For Pete's sake, Smitty, give him back his Bible. Yeah, give him back his Bible. So how come you don't fight? You think you're better than us? No. No. But what if he was attacked? <laughs> well, he almost frickin' killed his brother when he was young and he made himself a promise into the Lord, God. I think this is cowardice. Plain and simple. Hit me, Doss. Go on. He's not a chicken, you guys, and stop being such a bully. What is this? Ooh. Give me that. Don't you dare. Now this would be the kind of broad that deserves a real man. 
Please. Give it back to him. <gasps> Smitty, you're an asshole. You hear voices, Desmond? Sir, I'm not a crazy person. I don't pretend to be something I'm not. I am what I am. So you don't hear voices? No, sir. I pray to God and I like to think he hears me, but it ain't a conversation. God says not to kill. War is a completely different set of circumstances. This is Satan himself we're fighting. Surely as a good Christian, you can see that. But I'm sorry, I will not bear arms. His religious views are certainly unique, but they do not constitute grounds for Section 8 discharge. Mm -hmm. But he's a legitimate conscientious objector, and he must be allowed to work as a combat medic. Yeah. He qualifies in all other areas of his training. Oh, so now they're just gonna be hard on him and all his training. Help make leaving his idea. I want him gone. God, he's just trying to do good, and why are these guys all up in his biz? I mean, I guess it's because they just can't see his viewpoint on war. Gosh, your area is a disgrace. <laughs> the pig's die! It's a unit! It's no better than its weakest member! I mean, he's not weak. Gotta help you learn that lesson, there will be no passes this weekend! Ah, oh, man. Everybody in full gear for a 20-mile hike! Oh, that's his, like, favorite thing to do, so... <laughs> Five miles home, he takes a seven mile route home. He's so strong though. He's fit. Oh shit, they're taking it out on him. Oh my God. No, don't do this to him. Knock it off. Oh, you bastards. Okay, get off. Why the hell are you still here? Why the hell are you still here? You just never can be different, I guess. He still made his bed. This isn't good for anybody. Sure ain't what I joined up for. It's about the lives of every man in here and your son. Time you quit this. Yeah, he's gonna save all your asses, I bet. Finish getting dressed and I'll walk you down. He ain't leaving. Let's go. I got extra guard duty today and I'm on KP this morning, so. God, he's so strong. Can you identify the men that beat you? He's not gonna tattletale. No, Sarge. Gotta have respect for him, man. Oh, now he's gonna go get married and he's all banged up. Aries, I'm afraid I can't authorize your pass. This is a furlough for men who have passed the basic training. No, sir. R respectfully, sir, I have. I, I put in for this furlough three weeks ago. I'm getting married. It says you're not rightful qualified. Oh. Well, I'm not required to carry a rifle, sir. Doss must be allowed to work as a combat medic, provided he qualifies in all other areas of his training. Show me you know how to handle a rifle, and I'll sign your furlough. I won't touch a rifle, sir. I'm not asking you, Private! You stop this nonsense and quit. And I will have no recourse but to court martial you, and you will spend the duration of the war in a military prison. <gasps> I can, sir. Oh my god, he's not gonna show up to the wedding. Oh, she's so beautiful. Sometimes men just get cold feet. No, no. Not my Desmond. No. Yeah, okay, good. She knows something's up, thank god. Can't break this guy's spirit. <laughs> I also feel like my values are under attack. Mm. I don't give a rat's ass about your principles because the Japs don't. I'm prepared to give my life for my men. Plead guilty. Throw yourself at the mercy of the court. No, he's gonna fight for it. Oh. They're saying you could go to prison, Desmond. I've done everything they asked me except this one thing. I'm being treated like a criminal just because I won't kill. Why can't you just pick up the stupid gun and wave it around? Pride and stubbornness. Don't confuse your will with the Lord's. I don't know how I'm going to live with myself if I don't stay true to what I believe. Never be the man that I want to be in your eyes. I will love you no matter what. Oh my gosh. What is he going to do? Tell him that we love him and that we're praying for him. We're praying for both of you. Of course I am. my mind. What do you think I am? Oh, he's remembering something from his childhood. <laughs> <laughs> His dad's showing up. Oh my, oh my gosh. I wish to speak to Brigadier General Musgrove. He's in a very important meeting. I fought with him in France at Bellow Wood. He was my captain. Go get the man. Please, ma'am, it's, it's most vital. Private Doss wishes to enter a not guilty plea. 
You wish to proceed to a court martial? Yes, sir. Yeah. Fight for your right, buddy. Okay, now you go take this in there. I can't. Strictly military personnel. He's gonna go. Do you deny disobeying Colonel Sangston's direct orders? No, sir, I don't. I need to serve. I got the energy and the passion to serve as a medic. While everybody else is taking life, I'm gonna be saving it. With the world so set on tearing itself apart, it doesn't seem like such a bad thing to me to want to put a little bit of it back together. Yeah, hum. What the hell is going on? <laughs> His dad's breaking the door down. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> you are no longer a member of the military. The uniform's forgotten. You have no voice. Sir, I know the law, and I know my son is protected by those laws. They're framed in our Constitution. They're why I went and fought to protect them. Wow. That's a special moment for them. The defendant's rights as a conscientious objector are protected by an act of Congress, and he cannot be compelled to waive those rights. That includes, in this case, he's disobeying orders to bear arms. Signed, Brigadier General Musgrove, War Services Commander, Washington, D.C. I withdraw the charges. Private Doss, you are free to run into the hellfire of battle without a single weapon to protect yourself. Oh. You may resume your duties, begin training as a combat medic. I'm so happy for him, but also so scared. When you get home, you tell him I love him. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy they were able to get married. You better come home with me. Okinawa, May 1945. His medic badge. Bodies. Oh. These are the guys we're replacing. Welcome to war. Did not want to get captured by the Japanese, that's for sure. Sit down. Who's Das? Over there. Oh, they need some attention. Herb Schechter. Or is he the other medic? No, he doesn't have a thing on him. About the only medics we got left in this okay, area, yeah. so I guess we're going to be working together. You just come off the line. What's it like? It's hell. God. We climbed up six times. Six times they threw us off. They're animals. Stinking animals. Nips don't care if they live or die. These guys are traumatized. Holy shit. They've seen some things, haven't they? The jabs deliberately target the wounded. Oh my God. Lose all your Red Cross markings. Oh, that's why he doesn't have anything on the them. Premium on shooting medics. <gasps> If you take out the medics, you can't help the wounded, so not a bad game plan. Maybe we get Okinawa. We get Okinawa, we take Japan. Our pals in the Navy are gonna soften them up for us. I'm sorry, what? Nobody can survive that shit. Oh, but they can. These bunkers here, here, and here. Is that accurate? <coughs> yes, sir. Maybe a little further. Oh, my God. It's all different up there. Is this how the Japanese set up to kind of, like, fight back against them trying to invade was, like, up on this ridge? Holy hell, you'd be so tired after you just climbed this rope ladder. <sighs> Won't they just start picking you off once you climb to the top? What? It's blood. From what? We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. No, we are not. I need to like pick my jaw up off the ground because I, I'm in shock. You can't see anything. He's like, this is what my dad was talking about. That guy's been there a while. Why is it so quiet? Oh. oh my god, where are they coming from? Where the hell are they? I can't see nothing! Those special effects are like too real. Put your hand right here! Put your hand on there, Jack! Oh. oh, he's gonna use them as a shield. Holy F. Yeah, it would be terrifying, buddy. Is that one? I don't know to shoot. Oh, but that he's dead. Oh, Beto. 
Oh, we had the flamethrower. Oh my God. That's why there was people burning at the beginning. Are they coming up from the ground? They're all hidden underneath. Oh, he saved him. He saved it for him. Oh my God. He's gonna save you back, I bet. Oh, he had a look in his eye though. You hurt? Smitty oh, is fine. one tough bastard. He's tough though too, Desmond. Tourniquets. Oh my God. Give him a shot of morphine and move on. He's too far gone. Please, please, Dasta. I've got kids. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna get you home. Stretch off! Babe, throw it! Oh, he's carrying him. He'll be dead before we get him down. You don't know that! Okay. I figure if we can't see them, then they can't see us neither. Wow. Like, he's one agile mofo, man. Like, and he's fit. <gasps> <laughs> I think they just have a different system. They've obviously been like taking out all the companies, so. I still better stay down, They're better at hiding. God, stay down. Oh, flank and so go around. Watch a lot of war movies, so I'm learning the lingo. Keep that tight. You're gonna be right as right. He's so good at like keeping their spirits up. Oh. <gasps> Sarge. Cool. Stick it cool. Throwing a bomb at it. <gasps> oh, he got rocked. Oh, he, I think he's just out. They're hitting him with everything they got. Oh, cool. Did he die? This guy's so badass. I mean, they all are just like, he's just giving her. Oh, it's a bomb. Fire in the hole. So much. <laughs> a pretty smart thing to do. Cool. Yeah, I thought he just got rocked pretty hard. Also known as. Cool. Lost some teeth though. It looks like. Shit. Good job, man. Good work. <sighs> Give it a night. We hold this spot. We mop up the rest of the ridge tomorrow. We don't know what's out there. Heads down, asses lower. <laughs> Shoot anything that don't speak English. Where the hell you going, Doc? Some more wounded out there, Sarge. Oh. I'll go with him. Are him and Smitty going to be like best friends in the end? I mean, maybe nighttime's the best time to go out because each sides are hunkering. In peace, sons bury their fathers. In war, fathers bury their sons. Oof. Should we find a home to again? Sound good to me. Put your helmet on. You ain't gonna eat them. I don't eat meat. Help yourself. What is he gonna live off of? That's one heck of a dame. You know you're fighting out of your weight class with her, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> She'd be much happier with a man like me anyway. Yeah, until she got to know you. <laughs> I'm an asshole sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> Put his helmet on. That's so disgusting and so sad. It's horrible. I'll take first watch. Might you get some shut eye? Oh, he's gonna have another dream. <laughs> he's dreaming. He's dreaming. <laughs> You're in the nightmare, buddy. Dreamed I got myself scared. <sighs> I couldn't do nothing. <sighs> Rifle's just here. He's not gonna. It won't bite. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Any sane man would be screaming for a weapon. Well, I've never claimed to be sane. My daddy's a drunk. At least you knew him. So your mama raised you? I knew her. But she gave me to an orphanage when I was five. I learned how to hate quick. Yeah, that's your wall that's up. Learned how to judge people quicker, and I got you very wrong. <gasps> wow. I can't believe he admitted my that. to beat me and my brother just because the sun rose, and then whip us just because it's it. That's what made you tough. But when he would do it to our mama. Get away from me, woman! 
That's enough, no more! He's holding the gun. But you didn't kill him. In my heart, I did. <gasps> That's when I made my promise to God I ain't never gonna touch a gun again. Well, I ain't giving you mine because you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they're coming straight at them. There's so many of them. I don't know what Hacksaw Ridge connects to, so I don't know what where everyone's coming from. These like knife swords are crazy. Well, like knife rifles. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. Six request immediate support. Yes, yes, I know that's where the hell we are, but I don't expect to be here much longer. You better start shooting. No. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that guy's hurt really, really bad. Uh oh, uh oh, he's. Oh, only one shot in the knee? Oh, oh no, he got hurt pretty bad. Hollywood. You know what to do! Oh, he's keep tourniqueting himself? Fuck. No, don't eat plasma. Give it to him. Oh. We gotta move right now. No! They're getting pushed back so far because there's so many of them coming at them. Oh, they're, they are firing. Buddy. Come on, Smitty, you stay with me. Let's go, we gotta move. Come on. Oh my God, he's gonna save them. <laughs> come on, let's move, come on. Can't help him, buddy. He's gone. No. Smitty was gonna make it. What is it you want of me? Oh, he's talking to God. I don't understand. I can't hear you. <gasps> he's staying on. Who is this guy? God, he's so freaking brave, but he's like, I'm gonna go save people. 32 only came down, sir. He's staying up there by himself. He's got nobody. <gasps> We, we all fix you up. You just gotta keep breathing. How many more is he gonna save? I'm coming back, okay? okay. He hasn't even eaten anything. <laughs> oh. oh, buddy. You just sit tight, okay? Oh my God, he's gonna rope everybody down. Belay. Son of a gun, this is gonna work. That's like how he taught himself how to tie his knot. I got you now. <laughs> Look up, you guys. Dad! Hold on, one of them! No, 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 no. Another one. His system is so brilliant, it's working. Tell him to call off the artillery on Hacksaw. We just lost our cover. Is he not gonna pick up a rifle? Andrew Garfield is a really amazing actor. No. No. Is he gonna have to play dead? You don't have to trust me. Take a breath. Oh my God. Oh my God. Close your eye. Get him breathing, get him breathing. How is he gonna evade all these guys? He's like so sneaky. Found a tunnel where they were all hiding. Run, 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 run. Is he gonna use their tunnels against them to save everybody? 
Zena save this man? Or he's already dead? This is the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. He's gonna save him. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> His soul. Oh my god. I don't know it's one of his guys, but now they've sounded an alarm to the Japanese that they're there. I can't see. Hold still now. I thought I was blind. <laughs> what mercy he showed to that Japanese soldier. He's a literal angel. Help me get one more. He's a literal angel. He's a guardian angel. Oh, the rope burn on his hands. Oh. Now we get one more. Oh, that's his mantra. One more. Help me get one more. He's on a different level. Where the hell are these guys coming from? From Hacksaw. Some nuts up there dragging wounded from the top. Even lowered a couple of Japs. Yeah. This is what hell looks like. Oh. Get in here. There's nips everywhere. They're still up there. Private cornstock. You're nothing if not full of surprises. You want some more pain? Hell yes. <laughs> it looks much yeah. worse than it is. And girls will still won't kiss you. Yeah, your beautiful face. <laughs> you okay here for a while? Yeah, fine. Get out of here. I'm coming back. <sighs> My gosh, his face. They're cleaning all the blood off the stretchers. Captain, there's something you've got to see. It's all his men. How'd you get down, son? It's us. Al slept there. Doss did this? No, it's just Doss. Yeah, I respect him now, man. Doss the coward. <laughs> He's got a bit of morphing in, in him, so he might not be able to see clearly. <gasps> oh, this guy is a sniper in his hideout. Oh, good idea. Good idea, but now you don't have a helmet. Oh, he got him. You're like I'm on a shoe, ain't you? <laughs> it's a bit late for target practice now, don't you think? Jump on it. You're kidding. I'm gonna drag you. Oh, and then he's gonna shoot. We got company! Let's go, guys. You gotta be kidding me, Cornstone. You're tying a bowline, boy, not building a bra. <laughs> Get up! Oh. Put me down. oh my gosh, he's gonna take Smitty with him. Oh, Doss is still up there. Was that Smitty? That's who I thought that was. Oh, okay. It's okay, it's okay Doc. You're safe. Desmond. Are you wounded? Just my soul. They can't believe it. His face. Where's Irv? He didn't make it. He died of shock. No plasma. He wanted to give him the plasma, and he said no to the other guy. I'm coming to apologize. All I saw was a skinny kid. I didn't know who you were. Now you do. You've done more than any other man could have done in the service of his country. Now I've never been more wrong about someone in my life. I hope one day you can forgive me. He probably already has. <laughs> we have to go back up tomorrow. I realize that tomorrow is your Sabbath. Most of these men don't believe the same way you do. But they believe so much in how much you believe. And what you did on that road is just nothing short of a miracle. And they're not gonna go up there without you. Is he gonna go? What the hell is your delay, Captain? You were supposed to begin that assault 10 minutes ago. We're waiting, sir. Waiting for what? 
her medic. <laughs> Private Doss to finish praying for us, sir. Oh, praying with the sounds in the background. The bottom of the ridge. Let's go to work. Imagine having to go back up there after coming down from that. No. Oh, these sequences are so intense. And they're so well shot. They figured out their tunnel system. Oh, they surrender. Tricked them. Bible for him. Okay. Oh my god, he went back to get his Bible for him. Oh, samurai way of. Oh my god, his Bible has so much blood on it. I forgot about that part. That's my Definitely a better system that they have than what he had, but his was makeshift and it worked. <laughs> makeshift Ridge. Bad joke. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I really hope he survives. Oh. Desmond Doss carried 75 wounded men to safety on Hacksaw Ridge. He was the first conscientious objector to receive the Medal of Honor, America's highest award for courage under fire. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. Desmond and Dorothy were married until her death in 1991. Of his own heroics, he remained characteristically modest, giving all the credit to his god. I was just a friend of laws. Please help me get one more. He said simply, the real heroes are buried over there. When you're under conviction, that is not a joke. That's what you are. Even though I said those things to him in regard to carrying a rifle, then and, and he would never be my by my damn side in the long run, finding out that he was one of the bravest persons alive. And then to have him end up saving my life was the irony of the whole thing. Blood had run down into the fellow's face and eyes. I took water from my canteen and I washed his face. His eyes came up, my, man, he just lit up. That's what they showed. And if I hadn't got anything more to war than that smile he gave me, I'd have been well repaid. Oh, what a beautiful soul. Desmond Doss passed away at the age of 87 in March. 2006, directed by Mel Gibson. <sighs> no wonder why everybody and their dog wants me to watch this movie. <sighs> I feel like that movie speaks for itself. I am completely taken by the acts and the courage of Desmond Doss and everyone who fights for their country. What a Honestly, the selflessness of Desmond, his unwavering commitment to what he believed in, to his faith, also just who he was and how he grew up and how he was able to maneuver and, and move around. I, I also thought that made him an, actually an excellent soldier just because he wouldn't carry arms. I think he was fit and he was so strong <laughs> mentally, physically, and within his beliefs. I, I just thought he was a very powerful, powerful human being and to me he was such a hero he was such an angel for saving everyone that he could that those couple days i am inspired by him and his devotion and to not wanting to carry a rifle and to what that represents and what that means i'm so happy that everybody who was hard on him and wanted to get him kicked out really saw him differently in the end and i also think that's a very powerful message is to not judge a book by its cover and to get to know people and listen to people and not just judge them for having different beliefs than you. That's such a strong message that we can take in our lives today, every day. Andrew Garfield was phenomenal 
in this role. I think he did such a tremendous job. I don't know how he was able to convey the emotions he did. He was so amazing and I am sure he deserved any if all critical acclaim for this movie that I'm sure he must have gotten because that was so good. The way Mel Gibson shot this, the sequences, the cinematography, and the score. The musical score in those moments in what Desmond was doing when he was saving people, you could just feel the strings and it just got you in the heart like so profoundly. You just felt it and it just made that cinematic experience even more powerful than it was visually. The chaos of Hacksaw Ridge in that battle, and I honestly, I don't know how anybody survived that on either side, it was just crazy. But I'm sure this was very pivotal in the role of winning the war. Those are some thoughts, not my final thoughts, on Hacksaw Ridge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. <laughs> Ciao. Holy hell, that movie was so crazy. <laughs>